Right, and folks, um, shed edition <laughs> still. Uh, hopefully, if I do a test Friday morning, that's negative, and do one Saturday morning, that's negative, I can go out Saturday. So, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I got uh, some seeds yesterday. It's quite a bag full. And it's from uh, Graham Barrett. I talked to him on one of the Facebook groups, and uh, he kindly sent me some big veg. So, let's have a look, see what we've got. There's all sorts in here. Okay, I say, look, there's loads and loads. Oh, dropping them. All right, as soon as I dropped them, let's start with these. We've got um, some squash seeds. I don't get what the numbers are on the packet. I should really have a look and see what they mean. I've seen them on a few sites where they're on the back pumpkins and stuff, so it's some something to them. UK GPC champion, which is a giant pumpkin thing, I'm assuming. So yeah, we've got some pumpkin seeds. So I might uh, try and grow some of those instead. No, they're squash, sorry. But we've got some heavy beetroot seeds. Uh, what else have we got? We've got some long or heavy cucumbers. Got some giant celeriac. Them seeds are tiny. Um, some tall corn. So some tall sweet corn. Uh, I'll talk to Rob the other day because uh, Rob's a lot on channel. And he's got loads and loads of chilies and peppers going and I said I weren't going to bother any with any this year because I've got I, I grow chilies and all I've done I, I dry them I grind them out and I use them as chili flakes in food and stuff like that so the harvest I got last year will suffice me this year so I don't need to do any so I haven't sown any but uh, with what I'm growing here I'm going to be growing a few so this is a giant bell pepper it's come second at Melbourne this last year, sorry. So we'll be having a go at those. We've got uh, the UK record long chili, 2021. 45.7, this is a sibling plant. So we'll be trying those. And where's our mother? Uh, we've got a few things, chilies, got some Naga chilies. So I'm Scotch bonnet yellows. Uh, and we've got to try and grow some of them, haven't we? The uh, the Willy Chili, Peter Pecker. <laughs> so yeah, we'll uh, we'll try a few of those as well. So I've got a few chilies and peppers. I weren't going to bother, but I will now. So we've got some giant tomatoes. That was some uh, three pound tomato. Um, some giant kohlrabi. 80% germination on those, so put a couple more in than what you need. Uh, some Bulgarian long leeks, that's the germination, 60%, so if you plant 10 seeds, you're going to get 6. So I, I did plant some of these yesterday. Uh, we've got some, some, of the, some more giant carrot, the flaque. Some long runner beans from a 30-inch pod. So I want to try those. Got some gigantes beans. They're delicious, aren't they? Um, some giant red cabbage. I ain't gonna even pronounce that variety. Langadica. <laughs> Sounds a bit silly, but yeah. So we've got those. Um, a uh, squash that came second at Melbourne this year. It's a seed from that. Big big seed. So I might give give that a go. Wanted to try a, a squash. And uh, got some long red pepper. 
Palermo. I think that's how you pronounce it. And some giant radish, the Mooley Minoise. That says commercial seed, so I'm assuming that's just like from King's DT brand, similar to what I've got. But there is some here Sakurajima giant radish, and that's the world record variety. So I will give those a go, definitely. And we've got uh, 86.4 pound marrow. Wanted to do a marrow, not the squash. So I'll be I'll be planting those two seeds. And then we've got a giant green squash. Like I say, I'm not quite sure what the numbers are. I'm just gonna have to find out one day. Uh, another giant squash. Like I say, numbers mean no. Uh, we've got a pumpkin here that comes third place in Malvern. 2018 and then that just gives us some giant turnip wanted to try those you haven't tried germinating them yet obviously it says germination not tested so give those a go and then we've got some long or heavy cucumbers there and then this one says cucumber 2020 from a 36 inch cucumber so yeah we've just got a few seed centers i've just come out to Get a peace and quiet. It's bloody bedlam and it's driving me a while being inside all the time. So I'll just come out to do a bit of sieving and just like to show you those. So yeah, we're still on the, the shed edition. Put all these back in the thing. Like I said, I did plant some some of the long leaks yesterday and also some of the David Thomas green cabbage that I showed you. So we've got a few bits and bobs started in well couple and obviously I started some some house craig onions off I think that was 29th of December so I've got a few of those popping up so yeah uh, just to show you a few seeds that I got really and something else that I can try and like I say kindly sent me these for free so very nice of him very thing like I say competition seeds so I don't think it's on Facebook, uh, YouTube, but cheers, Graham. Thank you very much. And uh, like I say, hopefully I can get out Saturday. Because it's driving me wild. Nah, I do me head in. And like I say, nobody's got any things. Like I say, I've had a cold for God knows how long. So it's just winter. You put it down to being a cold. It wasn't, like I say, if I hadn't tested, I wouldn't have known that I'd, I'd got it, to be fair. So... Yeah, quite fortunate in that way but yeah cheers everybody and uh, hopefully we'll be back uh, up the plot Saturday